what is up guys it is xavier d johnson here yet again oh my god my background my background looks so boring let me try and sauce it up for you guys hold on let me get it saucy in here all right yeah there we go hold on nah it's still boring let's get it let's try and get it let's try and get it saucy yeah something like this you know it's only right that we go blue and white because we are about to talk about the latest cali Linux. You heard me right. The latest Kali Linux. Let me get my mic together so that you guys can hear me here. Um, we're talking about Kali Linux 2019.3. We are excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a browser here. And in this browser, what I'm going to do is actually show you the list of things that has come out. Um, some of the things that we're going to talk about is uh, Kali Linux now uses Cloudflare, which is like awesome. All right. Um, so, you know, that's going to be a, a huge change for you. Um, let's see if I can get this to boot up. If we want to just go to any one of these links, well, any of these links work. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, they also have a Kali Linux status page now, which is super, super helpful. They have a huge change around meta packages. Um, and they have some uh, some helper scripts now. And they updated a few tools. Um, yeah, so super exciting stuff. Um, yeah, let's go down into here. You can walk along with me if you have this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make it full screen and turn up a little bit of the. Uh, I guess I can't zoom in on it. Oh, there we go. I guess I can. So as we talked about before, the first thing that's changed is Cloudflare. So now when you run app update, this means that you're using Cl uh, Cloudflare, right? So let's try and run this app update pseudo we'll put in our password here you go cali dot download this is coming directly through cloudflare which is amazing i am a huge fan of cloudflare i love it um yeah so there's that uh, then we have this Kali status. Now, this is something that we didn't have before. It is useful to know what part of the Kali systems are online and what are not online. What mirrors are online. The Kali hosted mirrors and the contributed mirrors. So, this is super, super useful. I think that this will be getting used a lot in the future. And, of course, most growing uh, projects and most growing softwares have a status page. So, Another huge thing that has been making a lot of news has been the use of meta packages. And so looks like Kali Linux is going to have different um, uh, versions of their operating system or different versions of the ISO that you download for the operating system based on what it is that you think that you need. So Kali-Linux-Default are tools that they believe are essential to pen testing. Then you have Kali-Linux-Large for people who may have a wider set of non-standard or common situations, right? Um, so I would assume that Kali Linux Large is what most people are going to go for. Uh, Kali Linux Everything is just for people who are unable to actually go online and download these things. So um, it's super, it's super impressive um, that they're they're thinking about their their operating system in a different way now, um, and they've switched over to GitLab which is oh my god crazy um so they're making a lot of changes like they said they're doubling down on kali linux um i'm always impressed so we have this new thing and i think that this is going to be amazing we have what they are calling um uh, uh let's see what were helper scripts so with these helper scripts we can do things like uh web shows Boom, now we can see exactly where all of our web shows are, right? Um, 
uh, Mimi Cats. You know how much we love Mimi Cats. Boom. Now we can see immediately right here all of the Mimi Cat stuff that we need. Um, let's say shelter. Boom. Uh, no shelter stuff right now, which is fine. Uh, even though I think that it should be. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's try that again. Nope, still no shelter. So, shelter looks like it's supposed to work, but no dice. Um, which is fine with me, whatever. But, as you can see, immediately, we have these quick shortcuts to be able to get to web shells, mimi cats, Aperion, etc. Um... So this is this is fun stuff. I'm super excited about it. Um, speaking of Hyperion, it's one of the things that I actually got updated. Burp Suite was updated. Host APD, uh, WPE was updated. Kismet was updated, and Nmap was updated. Um, so yeah, this is you know also there's a new tool, a mass, and a mass is such a powerful bug bounty tool. I've been digging into it lately. You probably saw it in another video of mine. Um, Super excited for for the uh, the addition by default of a mass. Then we have some net hunter changes. I don't run net hunter or the arm, so I won't really talk much about it. Um, looks like they uh, they have LXD container image release officially. Um, I'm probably going to go play with that because I I run Proxmox, which actually does a little LXD, I believe. So there's that. Um, also. If you are using something that's already, um, like let's say you're using 2019.2, you can run this command, get you up to dot three. Um, and to ensure that you have actually went ahead and updated your installation, you can run these commands and this is what should pop out of it. So this is super exciting, fun stuff. Another version of Kali. Uh, they're doubling down on the operating system. They are making it better, easier for us to use as testers. Um, because Lord knows the last thing you want to do is be stressed out while you're in the middle of a test. Um, and yeah, I would say dive into this. Go give it a shot. Go enjoy it. Um, if you're feeling frisky, go play with the ARM one. Go play with NetHunter. Play with the Kali Linux LXD container image. Um, but if you're like me and you really want to get stuff done, just go ahead and update your existing Kali Linux image. Uh, it's going to work just fine. And enjoy some of the new benefits that come with using Cloudflare and having those helpers are it's going to be amazing because i'm always looking for web shows i'm always looking for other shortcuts so as more as i use this more and more um i'm pretty sure there'll be some tips and tricks that comes out of helper uh, helper scripts particularly but until then this has been xavier d johnson add me on instagram at infinite add me on twitter at infinite um oh excuse me my instagram add me on instagram xavier underscore johnson uh add me on twitter at infinite and i hope to see you next time peace